Why is the BCCI giving 100 crore to this cricket association? I will tell you today in today's episode. After that, Prithvi Shaw is Prithvi Shaw set to fly to England to replace an injured Shubman Gill? I am going to be telling you. And in the end, Oli Robinson's suspension has now come to an end because he is set to resume his England career. All those details only in today's episode of News Tracker. Hello everybody, my name is Naved Prabhu. I hope you are doing well and keeping safe. But before I begin this video, if you haven't liked, shared or subscribed to Cricket Tracker as yet, I do not see a reason why. You shouldn't be doing it, so hit that button quickly. And without wasting time, let's begin this video to find out what's making news in the cricketing world. The BCCI is set to give a 100 crore infrastructure grant to the Rajasthan Cricket Association. Yes, you heard that right, 100 crore. Now, this is so that, you know, uh, the Rajasthan Cricket Association can go ahead and build, uh, you know, one of the best stadiums probably in the world. That is, uh, you know, that is the kind of aim that the BCCI is having and this is going to be in Jaipur. Now, if reports are to be believed, the stadium is going to probably be the world's third largest cricket stadium. So, that's quite exciting news. But let's find out a little more details about this particular stadium. Now, uh, the stadium construction will start in the months of uh, August to September later this year and the RCA is aiming to arrange another 100 crore through the bank loans with other money reportedly being arranged by selling the corporate boxes at the venue Now this is going to be very interesting to see how this stadium really pans out now if one remembers of course not many you know international matches have been uh, hosted in Jaipur for number one of course you know apart from the IPL matches because they have their home team Rajasthan Royals as well but on the other hand how excited are you to be looking at the stadium in Jaipur because most importantly if the BCCI is trying to you know make the world world's largest uh, in terms of you know stadium they did make it at Motera and now they're probably aiming to make the world's third largest cricket stadium uh, in Jaipur so that's probably interesting because it also changes the kind of experience that cricket fans will have but what do you all think about uh, you know BCCI having these plans with uh, Rajasthan Cricket Association let me know your thoughts in the comment section below India might have lost to New Zealand in the World Test Championship final but they're already gearing up for uh, their next test match series which is of course against England and this is a five match test series set to start on August 4th now, one big blow that of course came for the visitors from the World Test Championship final was an injured Shubman Gill. So the question really was who is going to be replacing him, who, you know, what are the plans that the BCCI and of course the Team India also has. Now, as per reports, Prithvi Shaw could be flying to England to be replacing Shubman Gill. Now, one has to remember that Prithvi Shaw is already in Sri Lanka because of course India and Sri Lanka are set to, you know, uh, take on each other from July 13th. Now, let's get more details on what this particular situation is as an unnamed source has has given more details on that in terms of you know Prithvi Shaw possibly flying to England for the India England series. Now the source said here is a batsman referring to Prithvi Shaw in absolute form right now playing an inconsequential series. He's of course talking about in Sri Lanka. Now Abhimanyu Ishwaran who last did his bit in first class circuit more than two seasons ago. Isn't it more sensible to have a batsman? He's of course talking about Prithvi Shaw who's in form and the elements of his batting well documented already. If they think he should be in England, then there is no reason why the BCCI should not be sending him. Now, of course, this is, you know, a source close to these uh, developments that has given this statement. But what do you all think? Do you think in terms of, uh, you know, Prithvi Shaw leaving the India-Sri Lanka uh, series and going to England is uh, probably the right thing to do? And number two, you know, when there are, of course, other names as well in that uh, particular squad, even if the source was even referring to uh, Abhimanyu, what do you all think? Do you think Prithvi Shaw will be that added value uh, for the Indian team in the India-England Test Series. I want to know your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. You know, being suspended for anything for a cricketer's career is definitely a not a great thing. And of course, few weeks ago, we were talking about uh, England cricketer Oli Robinson's uh, unfortunate suspension because of course, his uh, you know tweets that were uh, racial in nature and of course, sexist in nature as well started doing, uh, you know, doing the rounds on social media, which is why, of course, you know, ECB had taken that decision to suspend him. But now, uh, you know, he he has been cleared uh, of uh, that particular uh, charge and on the other hand his suspension also has been revoked which means that he's finally able to really continue with his England career. Now how did this happen and what are the developments that led to this new decision to being taken by ECB? Well let me tell you. Now after a hearing on June 30th a three member cricket discipline commission handed him an eight match suspension with five of those suspended for two years. For the remaining three matches the ECB enforced suspension for the second test against New Zealand as well as two T20 blast pictures which he opted out of, which had been taken into consideration. Now, Robinson has also been fined £3,200. Now, so this means that, of course, the commission, um, you know, did take this decision after looking at uh, multiple uh, kind of... Uh 
you know, angles at the particular uh, situation. But now it means that he's going to be, of course, eligible to be playing for the India England Test Series. Now, he did really well in the England New Zealand Series. So, do you think now with Robinson also, you know, having an opportunity to resume his career? Number one, what do you think of that in terms of ECB taking a decision? And number two, how do you view Robinson, you know, making a big difference for Team England when they take on India? Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, that's all I have for you in this edition of the News Tracker. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Follow all our social media channels, including our Telegram channel, because if you like making your fantasy teams, we have some amazing fantasy tips for you, so you know where to head right now. My name is Nivedna Prabhu. I'll be seeing you very soon. But to see me very soon, you would have to subscribe to Crick Tracker, so don't forget to do that. And until I see you next time, of course, take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye.